immature designers. Today we will learn how to make sliders and it is very very easy to make sliders. So over here I have decided on some colors so that I can show you how I am going to make a slider which will transit from light mode to dark mode. Let's get started. First of all I am taking a mobile screen. Let's just take this one. And then what I'm going to, going to do is that I'll write a text over here that will say light mode. So this will tell that I'm in the light mode. And then I'm going to make the, uh, the fourth step that is making a rectangle. This rectangle will basically hold your handle and slider, right? So this is my fourth rectangle. And this is also your fourth step. The second step is that you have to make another rectangle which will actually be the slider which will move from over here to this position. So I'll change the color. I'll change the color to this one and this will have a color of this lighter shade. And now also there's one missing thing, the handle. So let's make the handle. So this ellipse will be the handle of the slider. I'll give it a darker color. Done. So these are the three steps. First, you're making this large rectangle, then a small rectangle, and then the handle of the slider. So now you can customize these things if you have a different shape, different color. So you can do all that. So I'm just telling you the basics. So first of all, in the first mode, you are keeping it right over here and moving the handle over here the initial position right since i'm satisfied with everything over here i'm going to uh, make uh, only change the color of this maybe four four or maybe i'll just take the color of this handle on it, right now i'll go to another screen which will be my dark mode so i'll write over here dark mode now i just have to two steps first step is that i have to change the position of the slider which will be my final position the position which will give me the dark mode and the second step is that you have in this screen the first step is to move the slider and the second step is to change the colors and that's all you have to do very simple i'm changing these colors because this is my dark mode so this should be different, right? Done, done, done. This is very easy. The first mode and the second mode. Three steps over here, two steps over here. Now you have to make the final interaction. So I'm going to select this handle, Alex, and then let's just prototype it. From tap, we have to do drag because I'm dragging and then just to the screen you can just let these settings be and then this one same thing drag and let these settings be done this is over you're playing it now you're gonna see the prototype the final prototype where i'll be moving from light mode to dark mode okay so this is my light mode i'm going to dark mode light mode dark mode easy also you can change the background color which will make this look more nice so over here there will be white and over here it will be something dark okay something darker great so light mode dark mode light mode dark mode light mode dark mode perfect now i'm going to teach you uh, another use of these sliders sometimes what you do is that when you move the sliders you also want some numbers to change right so let's just learn how to do that passing on to the part two of this video let's take some numbers okay so there will be uh, maybe the number is 100 Moving on, I will just copy paste it, then control D, control D, control D, control D, right? Perfect. Now this is 100, this one's 2, 3, 4, 5, and 600, right? 
Now, I'll select all these frames and I will make a frame. So I have made a frame of all these numbers. And then I want, want, want to do is that I'll select this frame and I'll also select clip content, right? But before selecting clip content, let's just do this one thing. Because I want to show only one number, I'll do this thing and then I click clip content. So all the contents is hidden. It's there, but it's hidden. So what we have done, we just wrote the number separately. We made a frame of that. We adjusted the frame and click on clip content. Now what we are going to do is that uh, we're going to copy this. Now, what I want is that I want the number 600 over here. So how can we do that? Instead of selecting the frame, let's just select all these numbers and then press the upward key in your keyboard. So you will just see that all the numbers are ticking up. And now since I've completed this thing, now let's just watch the prototype. I am dragging it and you see the number is sticking up and down. Dragging it, number is sticking up and down. So that's how I have talked about two methods. First is just the slider and the second part is about the ticking of the numbers. So both will go same for the slider part and then the ticking of the numbers is also easy. So uh, hit the like button if you like the video, share and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you.